Hi, I'm Janet Riley with the American Meat Institute, and I realize that recent news reports about lean, finely textured beef have raised some concerns because some have dubbed this beef product pink slime. Now, the concern is understandable. What you may be hearing is confusing and it's unsettling because there is a lot of misinformation floating around in media coverage and on the internet. I want to address some of these wild internet rumors and the claims that have appeared on some major TV networks. Lean, finely textured beef isn't substandard beef. It's not scraps scooped from the floor. It's not so-called salvage meat. It's not inedible meat that we somehow make edible, and it's not dog food. But here's what lean, finely textured beef is. Now, when a big beef carcass is cut down into smaller cuts, chunks of lean tissue and fat result. We call them trimmings. Now, some trimmings are more lean, like these here. Some trimmings have more fat, like these here. And historically, it was nearly impossible to recover beef from a trimming like this. A surgeon's skill would have been required to separate the meat from the fat. But 20 years ago, a new process became available that helped us separate the fat and keep the lean meat. This is a good thing. In beef processing facilities that make lean, finely textured beef, trimmings are warmed just a little bit to about 100 degrees, and they're then spun in what looks like a large salad spinner or a centrifuge. And together, the warming and the spinning separates the fat from the lean, and the fat is collected as edible tallow. The beef that remains is about 95% lean. While this lean tissue is beef, it does have a finer texture, which is why it's called lean, finely textured beef. Nutritionally, it's equal to ground beef. It tastes like beef, and under a microscope, it looks like other beef. The same two proteins in beef are found in all beef, from fillets and steaks to ribs, roasts, and ground beef, as well as in lean, finely textured beef. In all beef plants, we use numerous USDA-approved food safety interventions, and these are measures that ensure that naturally and randomly occurring bacteria are destroyed throughout the process. They act like hurdles to bacteria, and each hurdle reduces the number of bacteria further and further, which reduces the potential risk to human health from foodborne pathogens, and this is something that we all agree is very, very important. When lean, finely textured beef is made, additional food safety technologies are used. In one process, citric acid, which is very similar to what's in a lemon, is used. In another process, a puff of ammonium hydroxide gas is used, and this puff raises the pH of the beef and makes it hard for bacteria to survive. Both citric acid and ammonium hydroxide are natural processing aids. They're not additives or ingredients because they don't remain in the product. In fact, ammonium hydroxide is used in many food processing plants to make foods that range from baked goods to custards. Our bodies also contain ammonia. The entire process of producing lean, finely textured beef is regulated by USDA, and it's done under federal inspection. USDA has determined that lean, finely textured beef is beef, and that's why it's not singled out as something different on a label. USDA not only regulates and inspects this product, they also buy it as part of their ground beef purchases. Lean, finely textured beef is combined with ground beef produced from trimmings. Consider this. When we got milk from a cow in the old days, we did it by hand. But now normally that's done by machine. But the end result is still milk. The label doesn't say machine milked milk. In the same way, ground beef that includes lean, finely textured beef doesn't have to declare that it was processed by a machine because it's the same. It is beef. Finally, lean, finely textured beef is a sustainable product. Without lean, finely textured beef, we would need 1.5 million additional head of cattle to make up the difference in the beef supply. In our view, making sure that we harvest as much beef from an animal and waste as little as possible is just the right thing to do. It shows respect for the animal, it ensures a steady supply of beef, and it prevents waste. And this helps keep beef as affordable as we can make it for all of us. In a world of 7 billion people, more move into the middle class every day. They alter their diets, and they include more animal protein. And this is taking place while red meat supplies are decreasing due to drought, due to trade barriers, due to high input costs, and other factors, while demand is rising at the same time. People around the world understand the importance of animal protein as part of their diet. Now, I'm a mother of two burger-loving boys, and I'm confident in the quality, safety, nutrition, and affordability of our nation's ground beef supply. I wouldn't recommend anything to you that I don't serve to my own family. If you have additional questions about lean, finely textured beef, please feel free to visit us at meatsafety.org where you'll find additional resources. You may also visit pinkslimeisamyth.com.